Here along Utah's Wasatch Front, we're lucky to have so much great nature right outside our back door and so many trails to go and explore it. In the spring, this area explodes with life. Plants, animals, and even people are taking advantage of the warmer temperatures. Spring can be an ideal time to observe and learn about the diversity of life all along the Wasatch Front. An app called iNaturalist is a great way to learn about your nearby nature. Used by everyday citizen scientists like you and me, iNaturalist is a fabulous way to record the nature you're seeing outside and help scientists learn more about the biodiversity that lives all around us. By simply taking photos of plants, animals, and other wild living things outside and adding it to iNaturalist, you're adding to a record of biodiversity online that can be searchable by anyone. And you're helping scientists learn more about species here in Utah, their behaviors, where they're living, and what they're interacting with. If you're new to iNaturalist and would like to download it for your mobile device, click the link below to learn more. Now I'll pass it on to my colleague Allison, who has some great tips on how to make the best iNaturalist observations you can. When you're out in nature and you see a plant or something else that piques your interest that you want to photograph from iNaturalist, it's not important that you have a fancy camera or that you take a really artistic shot, but there are some features that are important to get for identification. So first off, I'm gonna take a picture of the whole plant, flowers, leaves, everything, and that'll give an idea of just what the whole plant looks like. But then I'm gonna zoom in on a flower because flowers are really important to botanists for identification. And next I'm gonna take a picture of the leaf close up because leaf shape, leaf texture, the way the veins look on the leaves, those are also important. As a scientist, it's hugely valuable to have access to this data that's gathered by people like yourself. Some ways that scientists use iNaturalist data could be to study the flowering and fruiting of plants and how that has changed over time from year to year, and also how and when invasive species are introduced and how they spread. As you see nature and share it on platforms like iNaturalist, you're giving others a glimpse into the nature all around you. And kind of like social media for nature, it's a great way to communicate with scientists and fellow citizen scientists about the wonderful world right outside our back doors. Have fun.